Well, it's certainly no secret. The tri-state region sees its fair share of severe weather, making matters worse. The diverse type of weather that we have to deal with here. Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Joe Fitzwater takes a look at the next big storm. It's time now for the award-winning sports zone. From wintry weather to flooding, as well as severe thunderstorms, all types of weather are seen in our area. Each disaster has cost millions of dollars in damage, both to residents of the area as well as to local infrastructure. Dr. Kevin Law, the West Virginia state climatologist and professor, says that flash flooding in the Mountain State is a result of a few geographic conditions. Yes, our uh, mountains are, uh, they're not very tall, but they are steep. And most of our population tends to live in the valley bottom, so we are susceptible to uh, flash flooding. And then you compound that with the soil types. Uh, our particular types of soils have rapid runoff. They do, do not absorb uh, that, that water, so it just runs off very quickly. Phil Moy with American Electric Power says a special protocol is in place in times of severe weather. We constantly monitor the weather, and anytime we see an event that could cause problems to our infrastructure, uh, we start meeting to plan for it and to get ahead of it and uh, to have a plan in place by this time the storm actually hits. In particular, the June 29, 2012 derecho was very hard on the electric infrastructure in our region, with a one point nearly 90% of electric customers in the Mountain State being without electricity. Companies like AP use events like this to build an even more efficient method in the future for when Mother Nature strikes. One of the things we did after the derecho was changed up the way we approach vegetation management. We've moved to a, a vegetation management program where every four years we clear each of our circuits end to end and that ensures that the right of ways not only stay clear of vegetation but also are easier to get into when you do have a big storm like a derecho. Though the Mountain State sees a variety of severe weather, Dr. Law says flooding is the deadliest. Well, it tops with uh, flash flooding. Uh, we, by far and away, that's our worst uh, hazard that we have to worry about. But perhaps the type of storm that causes the most fear to our region are derechos. And although the term derecho became common vocabulary in the region following the 2012 storm, derechos are more common here than you might think. We live in an area where we probably get about one derecho every couple of years or so, but they're not of the severity like we saw back in 2012. That type of magnitude, we're talking about like a 20-year type of event. Significant weather in our region is inevitable, but the key to dodging its impacts, preparation, including knowing the difference between a severe weather watch and warning. A watch just means that the conditions are favorable, nothing that has been spotted yet, but a warning means that those, con uh, those conditions have been officially spotted. So if you see a severe thunderstorm warning or a tornado warning, that's when you really need to uh, be prepared. New technology being utilized by agencies such as the National Weather Service aim to help save lives to uh, get much better rainfall estimates from our radar. Uh, we're also able to actually see tornadoes better when they happen. This allows people more time to prepare. It allows uh, emergency management officials to get resources in place whenever, you know, maybe a major flood is going to happen. With the advent of new technologies in this day and age, there are a multitude of ways of staying up to date with all of Mother Nature's curveballs. Well, make sure you have your cell phones activated for the severe weather alerts from the National Weather Service. That's probably one of the most important things that you can do. And of course, you can download the Storm Tracker 13 app. Get your latest watches, warnings, even the radar imagery right at the push of a button on your phone. Download it completely free on the Apple Store or on Google Play. For Storm Tracker 13, I'm meteorologist Joe Fitzwater. All right, Joe, what? getting us uh, ready for the I next know. storm. I feel like I'm ready for a quiz now, too. Well, I'll tell you Very what. Very impressive. Looking tonight, we've got some...